What's good? This your guy PA Way One Custom Beats here to inspire and help you take your music to the next level. Today, I just wanted to talk to you about keeping a workflow, which is crucial. It's nothing like getting to your computer and then sitting down and having that banging ideal in your head, and then it's slowly diminishing because you got to pull out all your instruments, all your favorite sounds, and then by all that, and by that time. Your ideal is, is gone. So to avoid that and to keep you keep you on point, <clears throat> you want to create a template. A template of all of the instruments that you use on a regular basis. Um, along with your favorite sound. So I already kind of catch my screen. I already kind of started. Um, so, you know, you have a calm, your, your reed drum, whatever, piano. And, uh, but the most important thing, um, when it comes to your reed drum, make sure that you have all the sounds that you want in there. Even if you have to use two or three. So then that way, when you get to work, you can just work and you don't got to dig and search. And again, lose the idea you got in your head. So uh, after you do that, then you want to go to save as. And then um, you'll name your template. I'm not going to save it, but you'll name it. And you'll have your template for when it's time to work. But the, the most important thing is, and see, I messed up a few times doing this, is that once you bring your template up and you begin to work on it, what I do so I don't mess it up again is I usually go to save as again and then name my project. So then that way I'm not saving on top of my template. See what I'm saying? So that's a real important thing you want to do. Now, I want to show you another way to cut across the field. Now I'm sure you know how to make hi-hat rolls. Well, how they, uh, well, the first way that I learned was uh, they would put it on, I'd put it on the 32. And then have it like, boom. Apologize for that. This is not mine. See, I'm so used to my template. My bad. So, here we go. So you would. They used to do this. Um, and then you would have to take and chop it again that is time consuming within itself and again you could probably lose the wind in your sails or lose that idea that you're working on see this doing all that i'm not gonna put nothing to it but trying to you know chop it up or whatever that takes a lot of time as well so I found another way to do it, but before I go to my template to show you, I want to show you how to set it up first so you can do it as well. First, you want to grab a combinator, which is in utilities. You want to bring it in here. Now, this is important. Now, in order for whatever you want to go in there, you have to make sure this line is red. It stays red when you, but see, it's red now, but if you go to click on something over here, it's not red. So what I do is I find what I'm gonna 
use next which is the I need the line mixture so the line mixture is there but see I have to make sure this is red red so it can go in there see it's inside that casing that's how you know see how it's still room there that's how you know it's in there same thing so you have the combinator the line mixture now you want now you want the calm and then your RPG see how it's still all in this casing that's very important because that line is not red when you double click it. it's just going to go under it and it's not all going to be connected now again you don't have to do any anything to it but just make sure the lines red and it'll all hook up itself now change this now depending on your project all you do is go here adjust and you got them you don't have to chop you don't have to try to measure up you can just put it right where you want it. You want it on 32, see, it's this. And so that's a quick way to make your hi-hat rolls. And so I'll show you on my template, play a little bit of this track I just got done with. Uh, that's on my player on a1custombeat.com. see this is what they will look like like this and you put them in just by pressing it and you're good to go that beats I have to sit there and, and take time chopping it up so I just play a little bit of this beat for you it's called upside down you can hear how oh, my hi-hat rolls are in there Custom Beats. Custom beats. So again, that's 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 a quick way, you know, to keep your workflow so you can stay creative and you don't lose the ideas that you have in your head. Create a template and then set up the, the combinator, the line mixer, the calm, and the RPG eight, and you're good to go. So I hope that that helps you. Um, and we'll talk soon. This is PA with A1 Custom Beats. Make sure you click below, like, uh, share. Again, um, if you need some beats, something different to, to allow you to stand out, check my site out. Um, the info's below. Uh, thanks, and uh, we'll talk soon.